Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some cold case ice cream. I have the assaulted caramel. And I have killer bees. These were Melta's. Uh, Courtney ordered them for us from cold case ice cream and we got a six pack. So this is our third video with uh, two ice creams. So hopefully you've watched the previous two. We reviewed the Strawberry Alive and the Cookies and Scream. And then we reviewed the Trial by Chocolate and the Embezzlement. And then these are the other two. Plus, we have also reviewed Flight Risk, Apple Pie Alibi, Rocky Railroad Robbery, Serial Killer, Jane Doe, and Blackmail. Those are previous videos where Kevin and I ordered them and we reviewed them. So, um, I can't wait to try these. This is the Assaulted Caramel. And how's it gonna look? No. Do you want me to get it out or you wanna get it out? It looks, uh, it looks, there's nothing to look at here. No, it's just uh, kind of a cream color. We have had this laying out for about 10 minutes, so it is nice and soft, but that's how we wanted it. It's really nice to see. So, Tan. <laughs> a salted caramel, rich salted caramel ice cream melded with Madagascar vanilla and fresh cream. Okay. So this is not, there's nothing mixed in. There's just, nothing mixed in. Mm, like the flavor. And I love how melty we let it get. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a, I hate to say graininess because I think it makes it sound bad. There's a little bit of a texture there. Mm -hmm. No, it's just on my spoon. That's weird. I could drink that like a milkshake. Yeah, it's a I really mean, strong really. salted caramel. It's it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It um, it's good. It's it's not super sweet. What I'd consider a super sweet ice cream. It it has a lot of salt. Mm -hmm. So salty. so the salt is there. They didn't skimp on the mm -hmm. salt. No, I like it. You do get the salt, but you get that with the caramel flavor. Mm -hmm. I think there's a little bit of a the Madagascar vanilla is adding a little bit of uh, more sweetness to yeah. it. Yeah. So it's not like it's over the top sweet like a cake frosting, but I do think it's plenty sweet enough. Oh, it's plenty sweet enough. And very sure. creamy. I'm surprised they didn't add. These are expensive. Just to let you know, they're yes, expensive. Yes, they're about. When, from my memory, when we ordered them, of course, it's been a while back, but it ended up being like twenty bucks a pint. Yeah, by the time you pay for yes. shipping and all that stuff. Yes. Time. Um, for what you pay for it, I don't I think there's a lot there. I think um, you would be better to order something else besides that one because there are no mix-ins. There's nothing there really except just ice cream. I want you to give me some mix-ins. If I'm going to pay $20 for a pint of ice cream, mm -hmm. I want something more. Yeah. That's me. I mean, um, I mean, I could make this at home with some caramel sauce and uh, a vanilla ice cream. Yes, yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's really good. It really is good, it's but it's not $20. Yeah. You're taking a $20 bill and no, it's yeah. not. And I, I hate to complain about it. Something that does taste well, really good. you're not complaining. Good. You're stating a fact. That's true. I, but it does really I taste good. I really, funny. really like it. But if this was on the store shelf for $20, I would say you're crazy. Yes, nobody would pay that yeah. much. No. So, no. so think about that. You go into Walmart, Kroger, wherever you shop, Meyer, or wherever, and you walk into the grocery aisle, and everything's about five or six bucks, maybe even up to eight dollars. And then you see one sitting there for even fifteen dollars, and you're like, well, nobody's buying that. They're and out of go, their oh, mind. That's you know. what you would think. They're yeah. out of their. They're losing their mind. So, they lost so anyway, the especially when it doesn't have anything in it, that's yes. what I'm saying. Yes, it rubs you wrong. I get it. No. That's not a complaint. That's a fact. Because we have a local ice cream place around here that sells twelve or thirteen dollar pots. Right, but not twenty. No, and that's even more. Because than nobody me. would go there. Yeah. Nobody would go to Grader's, Cold Stone Creamery, is not that expensive. Baskin Robbins. Nobody would go to those places if they were charging twenty dollars yeah. a pint. So, something to think about. Yeah. Okay, so this is killer bees and oh, this, that cool. but it's um, there. They left some room around the edge. Watch, maybe it settled or something. Yeah, it may have settled. Okay, these come very well. There's a lot of air in there. Look at there this. You need of, to hold that up. There's a lot of. They package these really, really well. See the all that 
air space in there. A lot of air in that one. That's the first one we've ever acted for. It's had a lot of air in it. We haven't had one like that before. But they package these so well. This company in particular gives more dry ice than most companies. And, and we've ordered uh, ice cream from places in New York. And this company, uh, they do not skimp on the dry ice. So mm -hmm. it's going to be solid when you get it. And you're not going to be able to eat it right when you get it. Um, so this is the Killer Bees Sweet Cream Base infused with drizzles of fresh honey and chunks of honeycomb candy. I think what's happened, well, I'll let you try it because you might have a different Well, experience. apparently something's happened. <laughs> Not bad. Hmm. It's really good. You really, really taste the honey. Oh, I love honey anyway. Oh yeah, Kevin's a big honey lover. This is a good one for us to end on, mm -hmm. these reviews. That's probably one of the best ones I've had from this horse flavor, guys. Uh, there's no chunks of candy in there. I think those missing holes is where the honeycomb, which is like a puffed up airy piece of like aerated candy, it's very full of holes. Wonderful. I, I think it's ever. melted. I so if they were started good. this big, I think it's melted into a space that used to be that big to nothing. To yeah. just a liquid. There is absolutely no candy in there. Because there's no crunchiness all. in there. But but the, the big holes, I think, I'm just guessing, um, I think those big holes used to be honeycomb that's melted. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because those are kind of big hunks of pieces. Usually. I got one little crunchy piece, and it was the size of a nerd. Mm -hmm. A single nerd. I haven't got any at all. I'm getting into the mm -hmm. really heavy syrupy kind of parts in the bottom. And I haven't gotten another one. Just one, I'm telling you, one little nerd in there. But that being said, that is absolutely oh, fantastic. I got a little itty bitty bees. Yeah, see, yeah. this one, um, that is absolutely fantastic. Mm. Uh, From the little piece I got, you can tell it had a lot of air in it. You're right. And so I bet you they just melted. I'd say when they sell this at their shop, oh, it works great. Yeah, it's probably fresh and more crunchy. Mm -hmm. Hasn't had time to melt. Mm -hmm. Is that that's probably one of my favorite flavors they've had. This um out of, out of this group. Uh, out of this group of six, this is my favorite flavor. Yeah, it's um, yes. it's over the top sweet. Very yes. full of flavor. Yes, and mm -hmm. even though I didn't get the crunch, I would have loved to have gotten the crunch from the honeycomb. Uh, I'm okay. I still am okay. Yeah, the flavor is still like, that is an exceptional flavor. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's very, very good. The thing is, are you going to want to spend the money to order these That's the not? thing. I, it's just, the, it's kind of painful. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah. it, it hurt her so bad she had to <laughs> Choke me up. Um, well, no, what I was thinking is like, this is like a, it's almost like a whole show because you get the box and it's a big box and the box is a, it's a black box and it says cold case and it's, it's really labeled like you're getting a box of evidence here. Mm -hmm. And then they, you get in the box and it's a big, thick cooler to keep these in with that dry, like the dry ice is that thick. In a box, yeah. And then they give you a uh, evidence bag with a shovel, a miniature shovel in it. A spoon. And yeah, it's a spoon, but it's shaped like a shovel, like you're gonna dig up a grave. And uh, there's there's lots of writing on the box or something like that. Now with this group, with my group, when we originally ordered it, we got some paperwork and stuff like that. Yeah. There was no paperwork with this one. There was none. Uh, there was like, like we had something that we could read or mm -hmm. something it seems like. This didn't have that this time, but they still gave us the shovel in the evidence bag. And, um, and I don't know if you pay extra for that or not. No, I don't think so. I think it, that's, that's how it comes. Yeah. I think that's what you get. They do have groupings on there where you can order it, pay, pay extra, and you get a game. I don't need the game. Play a mystery. Board, I would mystery, play yeah. the game. I would, if I got the game, I would give the game away. Just because I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't enjoy those mystery games. Now our daughter does, so I would give it to her, but I don't enjoy them. Um, do you enjoy them? 
Because Kevin played one with her. Yeah, it's too complicated. It's too complicated for me to remember it all. <laughs> I need more visuals, I think. Uh, but they do have uh, choices like that on there. So you can get different groupings. The only complaint that I've ever had is they have some really special flavors. And you can only get the special flavors if you get the game with it. And that's my issue is I've never wanted to buy that game because I don't need it. So um, hopefully they'll at some point start selling the, um, the special flavors without the game. That's my hope for them. And I know a lot of other people have said that same thing. Uh, but this uh, Killer Bees is It's very, very good. Again, delicious. you have to figure out if, if you want to spend the money. I mean, it is, it's a good quality ice cream. Yes. It's just, uh, you know, it's just expensive. Right, because the, the other ones we've gotten, I can say as far as this group goes, honestly, I wouldn't want to pay $20 again for any of no. them. I wouldn't. Um, so I think it's too expensive. Now, there were some in that first group that we got that seemed like they had more mix-ins, like the apple pie alibi. You know, it seemed like they had more mix-ins with that with those that we did than this group. This group was, was didn't more have- basic flavors. Right, it didn't have a lot of fanciness going on about it. So, but uh, you'll have to let us know if, if you've ever given them a try and what your favorite flavor was and all that. Uh, but I'll have pictures for you at the end, and thanks for watching.